How's it going? Thanks for joining me. Somebody asked me to dissect this no force on flat earth, give you a deeper look at what's going on. So remember in the movie Avatar, you had the tree of souls at the center of their forest, that special place, the tree of souls. And what I'm telling you is that like the tree of souls would have been like the astral web that spread out across the flat earth plane. And these giant trees or silica trees or like you have silicone chips in a computer and the astral web sort of like when you see in Ghostbusters they show you all these ghosts are green and what I'm telling you is that before these trees were knocked down there was a living web an astral web that spread out across the earth silicon trees like silicon chips it was a super highway of information that has been chopped down and now what's left is these mountains which are the roots and the stumps of these giant trees that used to spread out across the earth at the center of the dish is the holy of holies where the tree of life comes shooting out so let's take a look at something you go into a church you kneel down to the feminine okay you kneel down to the feminine and you place holy water on your head okay and you go into a church and you do the upside down cross you go from your head to your chest left to right doing this upside down cross which makes perfect sense that this is jesus right here because it says as above so below as within so without you see one thumb in one thumb out and you see the two snakes right there one's black one's white and what i'm telling you this is as above so below two fingers up two fingers down as within so without this is the same story over and over and over again. At the center of the dish is your doorway to heaven. Okay? So your stairway to heaven is what, like your Jacob's Ladder, that's the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish where every compass points to. So I've been pointing out every compass like this one, you see, is pointing to where Jesus places his light into the hole. At the center of the dish, out from that hole comes the tree of life shooting out hits the parabolic mirror and showers down on us before all these trees were knocked down that astral light would have spread out across the earth through these veins or these roots on these silica trees sort of like silicon chips and um the land beneath us is the land of perpetual twilight so like for example you see these fish over here and it looks like the division symbol and what I'm seeing is like, for example, you're birthed out of your mother's water. Your father places his junk into your mother's trunk. And then nine months later, you're birthed out of your mother's water onto the dock. And the dock doctors the papers and sends them off to the vital statistics office. And they send back to the hospital a certificate. Because when a ship births into a port and births out that, all those goods onto a new country soil there's a birth certificate that's given to the captain and that accounts for all that inventory so that birth certificate that you have shows you that your inventory it looks just like a warehouse receipt it has all the numbers on the bonding paper exactly like a uh, a birth certificate is exactly like a stock certificate with the special paper and and the numbers and all that stuff that's because you're stock and you're lost at sea you know there's plenty of fish in the sea right so what i'm getting at here is that the land of perpetual twilight is beneath us so we have the sun above our head which is 32 nautical miles in diameter it spirals in and spirals out bringing the seasons okay the land beneath us has the black sun which is stationary and it's 800 nautical miles in diameter and it's fixed because the astral jet has to come shooting out through that hole, hit the parabolic mirror, and shower down on us. Before, there used to be trees that that light would go shooting through. And that was like the living, breathing astral web that spread out across the earth. And now, that's all been chopped down and we're living in a mining colony. Everybody is working for worthless paper backed by their own stupidity. And now their god is time. Their time is money. You will get to school on time, pay your bills on time. Everything will be, be done in time. You see, you go to a, a strip club and you make it rain, okay? You make it rain and uh, it's just crazy, people. So what I'm getting at 
is that at the center of the dish is where you're going to find the uh, the land of milk and honey. It's the land of perpetual twilight. You're going to go into the hole at the center of the dish where every compass points to. Okay? And when you pop out the other side, you're going to see all those giant trees and all that shit. It still exists. It's just like the electric universe model. They said that Saturn was the primary sun. It was up in the sky, stationary. It's still exactly like that. But you need to get to the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. And when you go through that hole and you pop out the other side. Okay, you're on the division symbol right now, the chessboard. Okay. On the other side is the land of perpetual twilight. That's where we're going to find, okay, heaven and the Garden of Eden. Okay, it's right over there at the center of the dish, the Holy of Holies, every compass points to it. So again, you walk into a church, you kneel down to the feminine, you make an upside down cross, and when you go inside a church, you'll see that there's the stained glass windows showing you that you're focusing all your intent onto the black sun, which is Satan. So the sun above your head is making your flesh, your, your flesh, your bones, and your blood. And now that you're here, you want to bring something into reality? That's coming through the black sun. And it's just that simple. They're showing you right over here. Like when you go to marry a woman, you give her a ring. Okay? That's not like a Vesca Pisces. That's like, and you put it on your limp finger. Your wedding, ringer, wedding finger is your limp finger. Not like your fuck you finger. Okay? It's your limp finger showing you that you need to go where Jesus places his light into the hole. That's where the fountain of youth is. You see the pin the tail on the dawn key right there? X marks the spot. There's no way to mess this up. You know, you spin somebody around like you're in the world, like a whirlwind spinning around. That's why you spin someone around. And you blindfold them. Okay, that's sort of like on your birthday. You Close your eyes and make a wish, blow out the candle, and focus all your intent onto the black sun. You go into a church, and you see stained glass windows. That's because they're blocking out the sun above your head and focusing your intent onto the black sun. Okay, the black sun, you're a black hole. Your eyes are sucking in light like a black hole. Your ears are sucking in sound like a black hole. Your taste buds and your everything in your body, you're a black hole is what you can't see. And you're on the checkerboard right now, the chessboard. There's the hole at the center of the dish called the Holy of Holies. X marks the spot. There's no way to mess it up. And it's the two bowls, as in the Bible, as in two bowls, okay? Which is one side of a light hole is a black hole. So it's one sun. Okay, it's one coin with two sides. If you open up a Black's Law Dictionary, 1936 edition, and you look up the definition of a human being, you will see that it's a monster with no inheritable blood, cannot be heir to any land unless through marriage. And to get married, you need a marriage license, a certificate, showing you that you're owned, just like a birth certificate. And your children are stock owned by the government. And you are marked down as lost at sea. Your country set up a corporation in your name, and if you look up the definition of a corporation, it's dead corpse. So you would be the walking dead, literally. So, what I'm seeing here is the center of the dish, where every compass points to, is the Holy of Holies. It's one side of a light hole, is a black hole. Now, let's go back over here to the checkerboard. This would be Adam, the chessboard, and a rib was broken off of Adam and placed up in the sky to make Eve. And that would be the moon, which is sending down a square wave at you, keeping your brain half shut off, where half of your brain is shut off and you can't see what's hiding in plain sight. When I see this, I see one side of a light hole is a black hole. The two bulls like the Bible. Okay? The pair of ox. What I see over here is where every monster needs to get to before they're dead at the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. It's very simple. Okay? So that all-seeing eye that they want you to believe is above your head is actually the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish where every single compass is pointing to. It's literally right over there. Okay, see how he's pointing? It's literally right over there. See the candy cane right over there? Okay, they're telling you. Okay, what I see is the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. Every compass points to it. It's the tree of life shooting out at the center of the dish. So before all these trees were knocked down, there would have been 
the astral web would spread out across the earth and it's just that simple right now you are in the land of the, the wasteland okay you're in the mad den you're here to mine gold you work for worthless paper backed by your own stupidity and that's your god right there yes you will get your children to school on time you will pay your ki your your bills on time your taxes on time that's your god now and it's worthless paper backed by our own stupidity every compass is pointing to the land of milk and honey it's right over there people you see this jesus places his light into the hole and out from that hole comes the green astral light and that is god the astral jet it's very simple there's no way to mess this up as you see over here they're pointing to the holy of holies at the center of the dish i see an arrow pointing to the holy of holies i see the holy of holies at the center of the dish it's just that simple when you go in that hole and you pop out the other side you'll see those gigantic trees that go on forever the astral web they tell you the tree of souls and just like in you'll see the green ghost and ghostbusters okay it's the green astral light that's shooting out and that would have gone through the tree of life and spread out all through the astral web so i recommend you type in your computer proof plants are conscious i'm telling you that the plants are conscious and before you bite into a plant you need to project that in gratitude and i'm telling you that water is conscious you can see dr amamoto will show you that water is programmable you hold up a glass of water in your hands and you say to it, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. I intend to worship all and exclude none. Give me the knowledge of the ages so I might bring forth heaven on earth. And then drink it. And you'll see that your water, your, you're a bag of mostly water. But let me go deeper into this so you understand what's going on. Okay, right now, you're, on the, you're in the land of hell. Okay, it's 75% water, they say and 25% land but the land beneath us is 75% land and 25% water and the sun beneath us is 800 nautical miles in diameter and it's stationary and fixed and Jesus is the sun above your head one side of a light hole is a black hole so it's the same sun on the loop that's what I see when I see the thing is I don't see the of course yes people think it's the sun and the moon but I see one side of a light hole is a black hole and it's on loop this would be like the Jesus Lucy loop Okay, now, of course, Jesus could be like the feminine also, like the, you know, like the menstrual blood spills out. So, like a candy cane is showing you. So, it's the reason that's by, it's both sexes, as above, so below, as within, so without. And see the two snakes, one's black, one's white. Okay, they're showing you one side of a light hole is a black hole. See the waters, like the scales. Okay, see the star in the head. And then the two horns, that's like the sun and the moon, which make up the horns. Both of them place their light into the hole at the center of the dish. So when you see Jesus is the way, they're telling you to follow Jesus' light into the hole at the center of the dish. And that's where you will get your everlasting life. It's just that simple. So the Garden of Eden, it's right over there. Every compass points to it. So when you see the Garden of Eden, these giant trees that spread out across the underworld, which is actually the overworld, we're in the underworld right now. We're in the wasteland right now. We're in the mining colony right now. And it's just that simple. So the silica trees make perfect sense. The astral web would spread out across the earth and like silicon chips, okay, silicon trees, they've been chopped down and your divinity has been stolen from you. What I'm telling you is at the center of the dish, X marks a spot, every compass points to it. There's really no way to mess this up. It's just that simple. It doesn't matter what religion you think you are, what language you speak. Everybody worships the sun. And they've stopped worshiping the sun, which is a conscious living being. And now you worship a dead man that you think died on a cross. And it doesn't matter what religion you are. It's still the sun. And you think it's not the sun. You think it's something different. And what I'm telling you, when I see this, I see the yellow brick road. I see what every compass points to. I see that it's right over there. It's just that simple. When I see this, the grammaton, tetragrammaton, see the hole at the center of the dish? I see it. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole. It's very simple. There's no way to mess this up.